Hot Take Tuesday, Conference Championship Edition. So every single week, I go to my Discord, and I ask all you guys from the show, from the comment section, for hot takes. Every Tuesday. And I pick the best ones to be featured in a video. So if you would like to be featured in a future video, make sure you like, subscribe, put the post notification bell on, join that Discord every time, every week, every Tuesday when I ask for the, the hot take, you drop your hot take down and then you watch the video to find out if you made it or not. So the first one that we got here is from 4Fan Sports Talk Show. He says the 49ers will beat the Eagles at home. So yeah, the Eagles are going to be at home, but... Good time to start talking about this conference championship weekend, ain't it? So, the 49ers, very good football team, you know, amazing head coach, very well coached. I'm not gonna go too in depth because I'm gonna make a I'm going to make a prediction video, but give you my general thoughts. 49ers, very good football team. You know, they really know how to run the ball. That coach knows how to get the team ready. You just gotta love the ability and just the mindset that this team has. You know, they're very disciplined and it just works. It just works, and it's kind of like a cheat code for quarterbacks, man. But um, then you have the Eagles on the other end. You know, you saw Brock Purdy be a very good quarterback versus the Eagles or versus the Cowboys, but you could tell he had a little harder of a time going against that edge rush, going up against that pass rushers, that defense. He hasn't played a defense like that all year, and he hasn't played a defense like the Eagles all year. The Eagles is another notch up from the Dallas of the Eagles. Defense. So what I'm trying to get at here is the Eagles have a more consistent, more weapons, just a better offense than the Eagles. Or no. That the Eagles have a better defense than the Cowboys, right? But no. The Eagles have a better offense than the 49ers, yeah. So would you take Jalen Hurts and his ability to make big plays and, you know, he can make big plays on the ground and in the air. And he got a lot of weapons. AJ Brown, Devontae Smith, he could run the ball really well. As the Niners run the ball really well, and they have a little less experience of a quarterback. Not, I mean, yeah, much less because didn't start many games yet. What, like six, seven games he's played now? That's a baby. That's not a lot of experience at all. Hertz was here last year, and Hertz has been a phenomenal quarterback. I think they're both very similar teams. It's going to be like a chess match. But I'm going to count on the Philadelphia Eagles to be able to score more points and ultimately win this game. So for this one, I'm going hot. Just because I think the Eagles have a pretty damn good chance of winning this game this weekend. I'm taking the Eagles all day long. I'm going hot. All right. Next hot take we have here is from K in the building. Eagles will win by seven. Purdy throws two picks. I think this is a phenomenal prediction. I like it. I think Purdy throws two picks. I think he could. Definitely could. Against that, you know, he's that he's playing a whole nother animal at uh, uh, defensive line for the Eagles now. You thought he was pressured a bit last week? <laughs> Yeah, wait until he plays his Eagles front. It's probably going to be a long day for him. And I can see him throwing two picks. You know, it's just going to be a mess up game. There comes a point in time where you really need a quarterback. You know, yeah, Purdy hasn't shown anything bad. He takes a lot of risks. And he has come up on the good end of that. Now, that's not always going to happen. And, you know, I just think that this Eagles defense is going to give him a hard time. This is the first... Really legit defense. You know, the Cowboys defense is legit all year long. Except for the second half. The pass rush really got to Purdy a little bit. But he didn't really get to Purdy at the same time. Like, Purdy was a little antsy at first. Settled down. Made big time throws. It's just a very complicated situation to talk about in a way. Because, you know, you see... A lot of quarterbacks stepping into the system and just playing very well. Not having many problems with the, with, with the transition. But there comes a point in time where you need a quarterback. See, like, 
you don't know if Purdy can really create or not. You know he can make big throws and reads fast. And James Bradbury, big play Slay, Chauncey, these guys can make him pay. I think, I think they may play up close. But then at the same time, they have such good playmakers, It's it combats that too. We'll talk about more in another video, in my prediction video, but this hot take, Burke to his two picks, Eagles one by seven. I think it's very possible. I'm going cold. I'm going cold. All right, the next hot take we have here, if we get this one out of here. Perfect. It's from LCCJS27. The Bengals will beat the Chiefs for the fourth time in a row. Because Mahomes gets hurt in the fourth. I'm going to take that second half off. I'm just going to look at this hot take as the Bengals will beat the Chiefs for the fourth time in a row. So, I think this is my prediction. You know, I think the Bengals are going to beat the Chiefs. Yeah, both quarterbacks aren't going to be 100% because Burrow, was hurt. Burrow got hurt last week too. Wasn't no, nowhere near as serious as Mahomes. But that high ankle sprain, man. Any other player, it would have them sidelined for quite a few weeks. Now, it's definitely very risky and very dangerous for Patrick Mahomes to go out and play like that, considering when you're talking about long-term injuries, just much more complications if you really want to play. Take the wrong hit, the ankle goes the wrong way. That's an issue, to say the least. So, I think that the Bengals will beat them. I think it's very possible. Joe Burrow is going to be more healthy than him. Weapons are good. You know, the Chiefs defensive line is very good. This is what can hold. This is what can make it difficult. But I think that Bengals defensive line that and that Bengals defense is going to do just enough. Especially with Mahomes. just He's not going to be able to move. He's not going to be able to move very fast. Very well. Not going to happen. Not with the ankle sprain. So, I absolutely think that the Bengals are at a massive advantage here. Better running back, they can run the ball. And you know, if the offense looked like anything it was last week, even though you know the Bills defense line is not very good, they don't have anyone that's consistent that can really pose that fear or pose a threat. So that really helped. You know, the Chiefs have Frank Clark, they have uh Carl Loftus, Chris Jones. They have some playmakers in that defensive line. So we're going to see how this offensive line and Joe Burrow handle it. So Bengals will beat the Chiefs. I'm going cool. It's like be, it's like between cold and um, warm. So it's realistic. Next hot take we have here is from Silver Saps. Eagles embarrass Purdy and the 49ers score and the 49ers by at least a score and a half. So he's saying two possessions. So if they embarrass Purdy, right? Good chance they could you know they could get they could get up early like they did last week, and that could be it, because Purdy hasn't been in a situation where he's gonna have where he's trailing, and he has to figure out a way to dig that team out. He has not been in a situation, anything like any situation like that. He has not been in. So, Eagles embarrass Purdy. Don't think that's gonna happen just because of how good the system is from Kyle Shanahan. But by being the Niners by a score and a half, it, let's just say it's two possessions. He's trying to say, which yeah, that is what it is. A score and a half. That's two possessions. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go warm. Think it's unlikely that they went by two scores and embarrass Purdy. No, I'm gonna go hot considering they're saying embarrass hurt Pur Purdy too. Um, yeah, I don't think it's very likely that they really embarrass Purdy just because the mentality and the way he's been playing. And the 49ers just win by a score and a half.
I'm going hot. I'm going hot. One more hot take here. Fishmaster21. Four Niners will beat the Eagles, and Big Brock will lead the game-winning drive. I love this. I would love to see it. You know, I have a little bit of bias towards Brock Purdy because even before he was drafted, even before he started playing well, I'm like, I like this kid. This kid has some decent tape. He's proven me right. And a lot of other people wrong. Thing is, he is really playing that defense. The him defense of the NFL. They force turnovers. What they have like 60 or 70 sacks this season. We have to see how Brad Purdy can scale that pocket. We can get the ball out quick. Debo Samuel can make a big play maybe. I'm excited to see this. See if if they could get anything going with McCaffrey. It seemed like they didn't really get going. Yeah, yeah, McCaffrey got hurt. But it seemed like Purdy and, you know, that system. And Purdy's running it. Not an easy system to run by any means. They just took over. They just did whatever they wanted to that Cowboys defense. Took a big drive. One for seven. They ultimately made it 7-12. 49ers will beat the Eagles, and Brock will lead the game-winning drive. I'm going hot. I just think that the Philadelphia Eagles are just flat-out the better team, man. I think they're flat-out the better team. Maybe not. they're not better coached. But, you know, when you get this far into the playoffs, I think having a quarterback like Jalen Hurts over Brock Purdy is the difference in that defense, playing against a younger, more inexperienced quarterback. I'm going hot. So, that's all I got for you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in to the JDW Sports Talk Show. If you enjoyed this episode of Hot Take Tuesday, make sure to like, subscribe, with the post notification bell on so you do not miss any future videos. This is JDW Sports Talk Show, signing off.